Hello and welcome to a very special Coding Train coding video. Um, what you're about to watch is an edited version of what was a live stream just a few days ago. And this video is sponsored by Spell. Uh, Spell is a cloud computing service where you can train machine learning models, and that's exactly what's going to happen in this video. If you want to sign up with Spell to follow along, go to spell.run slash coding train. Okay, so in a moment, I'm going to disappear, and Yining Shi will be here. Yining Shi was a guest for the live stream. She has previously been on the coding train. Uh, she made a brick breaker tutorial, which I will link to in the video description. She's an artist, a researcher. Check out all of her wonderful work at her website, also in the video description. Now, there are a couple prerequisites before you watch the rest of this video. Um, but you could just watch it anyway, but I made an intro to Spell the Platform video. You can go back and watch that, which will get you started in signing up and getting yourself configured. Um, you might need to have a, you, you do need to have a Python environment running on your local computer. The one on the Spell cloud computer will be set up for you if you watch the tutorial. And I am, uh, I have made, I mean, I haven't made it yet, but I will make a Python environment tutorial that you can watch as well. Finally, if you don't know what style transfer is, this is the whole thing. This is all about, this, this video and the next one is gonna show you the entire process for training a style transfer model and then running that model in the browser to style images. Style transfer is the process of taking the content of one image like this one with the style of another image like this one and taking that style, applying to the, this content and getting a new one. So. Uh, hashtag this.style. After you watch these videos, make train your own style transfer model, style it off your webcam, style your, your, your face from your webcam, and upload those images and share them with me. And so without further ado, here comes Yining. She's going to show you how to train your own model using Spell. Finally, we're going to train our style transfer model with Spell. There are four steps. So at first, we're going to prepare our environment. We are going to download the data set. Uh, because we use uh, the VGG model and the COCO data set, the COCO data set is large, so it might take like one hour to finish this run. And then we're going to run this style uh, Python script to train the model. I think it will take uh, about two hours and uh, six minutes. And then in the end, we're going to convert this uh, TensorFlow saved model into a format that we can use in TensorFlow.js and uh, MFI.js. Uh, and here is a detailed instruction here. Um, if you're curious, you can go there and read the readme there. Um, and for step one, two, three, you can also check out Spell's uh, transferring style transfer tutorial. Um, and you can also set notifications on Spell uh, to tell you if the run takes a long time, but I, I will talk about this later. And you can also customize uh, environment on Spell too, but I will also talk about that later. Yes, so the first step is to set up the environment. Um, so we're going to go to our terminal and uh, we can go to one of the di directories. We can find a folder. So on my computer, I would just go to cd dev slash live stream. And it's an empty folder. There's nothing there yet. And uh, at first, uh, I need to install spell. Before I install spell, I need to install the pip uh, pack package management for Python. Uh, it's kind of like uh, NPM for JavaScript, the node package management. So if you don't have pip installed, we need to do that. We can do it together, but I think I already did it, so it might be faster for me. So I'm just going to switch to this uh, page to see all those steps. So at first, to install the pip, uh, we're going to download this get pip. I will make this bigger too. Oh, too big. Um, we are going to download this get pip Python script. So in my terminal, I'm going to, oh, I have a dot at the end. So this will download this uh, get pip Python script. And now if I take a look at my folder, there is a get pip Python script. Um, 
And then I'm just going to run my script. Python get pip.py. Uh, if you're using Python 3, uh, you can do Python 3 get pip.py. And uh, I guess because I already installed pip, so it doesn't take too long. But if this is the first time that you install pip, it might take one minute, I guess. And after this is successfully installed, we're going to pip install spell. I also have done this, so it might be faster for me. So here it said, oh, requirement already satisfied because I already did it once. So now we have spell installed. So if I type in spell, I should be able to see a set of commands that I can do. I can do spell cp to copy a file, or I can do spell run to run a, a to start a new run. Um, and I also can do spell login to log into spell from my local computer. Uh, my spell username is Yining. My password is this. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now uh, I can say hello Yinishi. So I am successfully logged into spell. Uh, and I also can do spell who am I to check who is logged into spell. And it says uh, username Yining, and this is my email created um, August 13th. And now we have uh, successfully set up spell. And then we can do prepare our environment. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to use this TensorFlow implementation of fast file transfer uh, made by Logan. Uh, so now I'm just going to go ahead and to clone his GitHub repository. So I'm going to do git clone. Cool. And then I'm going to go to his uh, folder, cd fast style transfer. And now I'm here. Uh, the next step is to create some folders and then put in our style image. So at first, I'm going to create a folder that is called CKPT checkpoint. And I'm going to create a git ignore file inside of CKPT folder. And I'm also going to create a, a folder called images uh, here. And I'm also going to create another folder inside of the images called style. This is the folder where our style image will live in. Um, OK. So now if I uh, take a look at this uh, repo, I can see this is the new folder that we just created. And this is also the new folder that we created, images. Um, and the next step is to find a style image that we train, that, that can be trained on. Oh, and when we are choosing style images, um, we need to make sure that uh, we could use this artwork and also we can use that image because, uh, and we need to give credit to all those images because we don't want to run into any copyright problem. Um, I have one image here. Uh, this is the an Asian Chinese painting called Fu Chun Shan Ju Tu. Um, and I got this image from Wikipedia. Um, so I can use this image. What I'm going to do is to put this image into images slash style. So I'm going to go to the folder. Uh, I will just quickly put that style image into images style. I'm going to copy this image. This image is called fuchun.jpg. And I just copied this image here. Um, so now we got our style image. The one thing that we need to do is to get at those two folders and also 
commit these changes to let spell know that we made all those changes. Uh, so here I'm going to do git add images and also add that folder checkpoint. And then I'm going to commit these changes. Cool. So now we have uh, prepared our environment. This is done. We can move to the next step. It's to, uh, we need to download the data set. So in order to train this model, we need some required data set for uh, fast style transfer. We need uh, everything is in the setup script. So we can actually open the fast style transfer GitHub repo here. So next we are going to run this script setup. Um, as you can see in this setup, we are going to create a folder called data and then go inside, uh, go into that data folder and then get this, uh, the VGG model, convolutional neural network model back and then make, also make a folder called bin and uh, then uh, download this Coco data set and then unzip this Coco data set. So, do you remember before we have talked about the VGG here? This is the convolutional neural network that is trained for object recognition. It can get the internal representation of the image for us. That's why we're going to use this uh, VGG model. And also, uh, FastStyle Transfer uses this uh, Coco dataset. It's, it is trained on a large uh, batch of uh, images. Uh, this Coco dataset is an object recognition dataset of 80,000 images. So we also need this because this Coco dataset is huge, so it might take a while, um, but we're just going to do it. Uh, so this is what it looked like in the setup script and next we're just going to run this setup. So next we're going to run this setup script um, and we're going to use spell to run this. So in our uh, terminal we're going to do spell run and we're uh, and this is the script that we're going to run but here we can also specify the machine type uh, we, by using this flag dash dash machine type CPU. A CPU is free to use, so we're just gonna run this script. And then you can see this uh, emoji casting spell 15, number 15. This number is really important to us because later we're going to use the output of this round to do our next training round. So uh, it's my, oh, see it's downloading this uh, VGG model. Uh, let me make it a little bit smaller. And I think after downloading the VGG model, oh, it's so long. <laughs> Um, it's also going to download the Coco dataset, uh, but here I'm just going to do Control C to exit. It wouldn't stop this run; it will just stop printing all those logs. I tried to run this run on Spell, and it takes me uh, one hour and thirty minutes to finish it. Um, I can also log in onto Spell to see. Uh, more detailed information about each one, but also in the terminal we can do spell ps. It will list all those runs that I have done before. So I have uh, 15 runs, and the last one is running, and I am, uh, and this is the command that I put. And this is the machine type. We're just using CPU. But we can also log into the spell, uh, spell website and here I can click on this wrong and I can see uh, all those, uh, all the informations about each one. 
um, this is the run that we just did, run 15. Um, and it will output a folder called data. And this is all the logs. And this is the CPU usage, CPU memory. So this run will take about 1.5 hours. But luckily, we have another complete run. I think it's run 13. So on run 13, I also I run the same command setup um, here. And it's already completed. And it outputs a folder called data. And we can click on this data to see what kind of output did we get. See, we got this. Uh, let me make it bigger. We got this uh, VGG model. We also got the uh, Coco data set. Here is called train 2014. So next, we're going to use the output from this one to train our model. OK, so uh, we finished this uh, second step, downloading the data set. And uh, we're going to move to the next step training with style uh, script. And this is the whole command that we are going to run. But let's talk about this command before we actually run it. Um, this command start a new run. And it used this dash dash mount flag to mount the output of our previous run, which is run 13. Uh, for run 13, the output is a folder called data. And we're going to use this mount flag to, uh, to copy this data folder into the file system of our next run. And uh, we're going to call that fo folder data sets instead of data. So this is the mount command. Uh, we can see more information on spells documentation. And then we're going to specify the machine type. I used the uh, V100 machine. Um, we can check more detailed machine type here. Uh, on the spell run slash doc slash core concepts, here it talks about all those available machine types that you can use. And here, there is a pricing table that lists all the machines that we can use. Uh, the one that I used yesterday is called uh, V100. And normally, it would take um, 12 hours to train on this K80 machine. And it would take 4 hours to train on this uh, V100 machine. So, uh, but I tried it 4 times. It only took me two hours to train on this V100 machine. So this is the machine type. And uh, next command, we specify the framework is TensorFlow. And also, we are going to get some actual package. Uh, for those, uh, those, two, those are two actual packages. They're for video transfer. And you can use dash dash apps dash dash uh, pip to get all those packages. Um, and this is the actual Python command that we are going to run. We are going to run the style Python script. And uh, we are going to tell the script that we want the output to be at a folder called CKPT checkpoint. And we are also going to tell the script that um, this is a, the path to our style image. Um, and this is the style weight. This is the style loss of uh, that model, um, which is 150. But you can read more about it at uh, Logan's uh, GitHub repo about how, how those, uh, about the default uh, style weight and other information. And we also need to specify the train path. This is the path to our Coco dataset. And this is the VGG path, the path to our VGG model. And we don't need to change any of this. The only thing that we need to change is our run number. 
uh, which, it, which would be 13, because 13 run, uh, download all those data set. And we're going, also going to change the style image name to our own image name, which is uh, fulltrend.jpg. OK, let's do this. So I copy-paste this command. And here. Uh, I'm just going to replace, oh, I will just go to a code editor first. I'm going to replace my, uh, replace this with my real style transfer, style image, which is fulltrend.jpg. And also I'm going to replace this, the wrong number of my setup ROM to 13, because that is the ROM that we used. And that's it. Uh, so now we should be able to copy paste this command and run it in our spell. And by running this, we are going to start a new run to train the model. Uh, let's just do it. And it says casting spell, machine requested down, run is running. Mounting is done, we mount the uh, data folder to this ROM. And it says Tesla V100. This is the machine type. Um, I think it will give more information, but I'm just going to do Control C to, to let it stop logging all those logs. Uh, and we can also do spell ps to see our run. So now I actually have two run running, two runs running. The first one is the setup. I'm still waiting for that to finish. And then this is the training script on um, this V100 machine. Oh, and the one thing I forgot to mention is because it takes a while to finish this run on spell there is a place that we can set notifications so it will send us emails when this run takes too long and or cost too much money so on my spell account if I go to setting and the notifications here uh, I can set some like uh, email notifications saying email me if the run ex exceeds um, $20, things like this, uh, in case um, the run takes too long. So we can do this. And also, if you're curious about the version, versions of packages and frameworks that uh, we have in the spell environment, one thing that we can do is to do spell run pip phrase. It will uh, log out all those installed packages for us. So this is a new round too. Casting spell 17. And this is finished. Uh, the total runtime is 10 seconds. And we can see all those installed packages, TensorFlow 1.10.1, things like this, if you're curious about the versions of the frameworks. Um, yeah, so let's go back to see how did our wrong wrongs doing. So this is the wrong that I just started for training. It has been running for three minutes. And it's still running. It will take about like two hours to finish. Um, but I have a complete run, which is run 14. Run 14 also takes like uh, two hours and six minutes to finish. But here I trained the uh, another style image. See, I had this exactly same run. 
um, but I trained this model on this lotus image. And this is the output of this run. So uh, when we are waiting for our uh, run 16 to finish, we can use this run 14. Uh, this run 14 output a new folder called CKPT checkpoint. And if we open this folder, we can see there are let me make this bigger. If we open this uh, CKPT folder, we, if everything goes well, we should be able to see four files in this folder. Their checkpoint, um, dot data, dot index, dot meta. This is a format of TensorFlow saved model. Uh, this dot meta uh, stores the graph information uh, and this dot data file here uh, it stores the values of each variable in that graph and this dot index uh, identifies the checkpoint and this checkpoint file actually only tells us the model path but for next step we're going to copy those folders back to our local computer. We can use uh, spell ls to list all those uh, output for us for one run. So I'm going to do this, spell ls runs. And the run number is 14, the uh, completed training run. So if we do this, spell will tell us, oh, the output is a folder called ckpt. So I also want to see what is inside of CKPT, so I can do spell ls runs slash 14 CKPT. And then it lists all those four files that we saw on the spell website. And what we're going to do is we want to copy paste all those, uh, to copy all those files back. So I am going to create a new folder called um, spell model and then I I'm going to go inside to that model and then here I'm going to copy all those uh, four files and the wrong number again is 14 So we hit enter, and it will say copying this file. This is finished. We successfully copied all those four files, which is the model, uh, which is a TensorFlow saved model, back to our local computer. So, oh, I created a wrong folder inside of this, uh, the GitHub repo, but it's fine. Um, so now if we, if we uh, list out all those files, we can see all those four files are on our local machine. So this is how we can uh, get the trained model back from Spell's remote machine. Um, actually, we can open that to see what, what do they look like. Um, I'm going to that directory. I just created this new folder called spell model. I'm just going to drag this model out to the desktop. And as we can see, we have four files. Uh, this is the format of the TensorFlow saved model. And if we open this uh, checkpoint, There's only two lines in this file. It tells us the model checkpoint path is uh, fns.ckpt. This is an, imp uh, an important information because we're going to use this path for our next step. So uh, just remember the model checkpoint path is this. Okay, so, so far we 
set up the environment, we download the data set, we trained the model with the style Python script, we copied our trained model back to our local computer, and the last step is to convert the model to a format that we can use in TensorFlow.js and uh, ML5.js. All right, thank you, Yining, for that wonderful tutorial about how to train your own style transfer model uh, using Spell. OK, now, the next step. Ooh, this is exciting. Once you've trained your model, and maybe it took you like a long time to do it, but once you've got those model files, you can now bring them into the browser, loading them with the ML5.js library, which is built on top of TensorFlow.js, and style real-time live images coming from the webcam. And that is what Yining is going to show you in the next video. OK, so see you there.